To create a two of two multi-sig wallet, you need two master public keys. Can you explain, for example, a wallet software like maybe Electrum, does it create how it creates the addresses for multi-sig wallet? Is there a master public key for the multi-sig wallet combined of the two underlying master public keys? So a uh, great question. So the way multi-sig works, um, native multi-sig on Bitcoin has excellent security characteristics. And the reason for that is because the keys that are used in multi-sig scripts in Bitcoin are generated and used completely independently of each other. So the actual separation of controls is implemented inside the Bitcoin script. In Bitcoin, when you create a script that says it takes two of two keys and here are the, the public keys that are authorized to spend this particular uh, unspent transaction output or Bitcoin chunk, if you like, um, the Bitcoin system will enforce that and it needs to see two signatures that correspond to those two public keys. It doesn't know how you store or how you generate it or how you keep um, those public keys, and the system doesn't care. A number of different companies have implemented this uh, in a variety of ways. Now, given that you can create private keys in a variety of ways from random numbers, um, one by one, or uh, most likely as hierarchical deterministic wallets, uh, which are backed up by a mnemonic phrase, and that's the secure way of doing it, uh, the best way to do a multi-sig uh, wallet is to generate one mnemonic phrase and a hierarchical deterministic wallet for one of the signers and generate a completely different mnemonic phrase um, for the other signer. Um, and you would do that perhaps using two different hardware wallets that uh, generated and stored uh, that seed and enabled you to generate signatures for those necessary public keys. What, what the wallet that's constructing it will do is it will take the master public key from each of the separate hardware wallets or mnemonic phrase seeds or whatever it is you've generated, and um, it will generate public keys um, for subsequent transactions. And uh, the each pairing of public keys will generate an address based on a multi-sig script, and that address will be a three address. So it combines the two public keys together with the script that says two out of two and these two public keys, and then produces a script-based address which starts with a three in Bitcoin, and that, that is your um, multi-sig address. Now, in order to spend from that multi-sig address, you have to present a valid um, script with signatures from the two public keys that were identified in that script. Now, um, a couple of things to watch out for. Uh, some companies do actually generate both public keys from the same seed. That's not particularly secure. Uh, I would generate two separate wallets, um, either both as hardware wallets, or you could have one as a hardware wallet, one as a mobile wallet, for example, and uh, generate your multi-sig address from that. Another very, very important caution don't generate two of two multi-sigs. It's far too dangerous. If you lose access to one of the keys, you're done. There's nothing you can do. Your funds are lost forever. Um, even if you have the best backup procedures, why? If you want to do it for multi-factor multi-sig, where you control all of the keys, but on different devices or wallets, um, or multi-party multi-sig, in any case, you can always generate a third mnemonic phrase that you keep locked in a safe and then do a two of three multi-sig where the two online keys you use are the ones that you use on a regular basis, but you have one more mnemonic phrase that can generate uh, the third set of keys um, stored somewhere securely just in case as an extra backup. I would never use a two of two. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. All my work is shared for free, so if you want to support it, join me on Patreon.